Hello everyone, it's me, Lamer Gamer. Hope you're all doing well. Now today's video is a how-to guide on how to use the Logitech G Hub software. Now I'm going to be using my Blue Yeti X World of Warcraft edition that I unboxed and gave a quick overview on, and you can find the link to that video up here. Now one of the good things about the Logitech G Hub software is that it provides you with an EQ so you can balance all of the sound coming from your microphone. You can also add really interesting sound effects to it, and because I have the World of Warcraft edition, there are actually World of Warcraft endorsed or Blizzard endorsed sound effects that come with it as well. So we're going to be having a look through a couple of those as well. If you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you know every time I post a new video. You can also catch me streaming regularly on Twitch. So if you have any questions about what we talk about in this video, please feel free to bring them up in chat. I'd love to talk about this with you. And you can also find me on all the other relevant social media sites. So let's install Logitech G Hub. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Logitech G Hub software. Now you can get that just by typing in Logitech G Hub into Google and finding a link that looks sort of like this. You go to this page and it gives you the options to download it for Windows or Mac. But don't worry, I will post a link to this page in the description of the video below. So I'm just going to copy that right now so I don't forget it. Now as I'm installing this on a Windows PC, I'm going to download the software for Windows. Then I'm going to want to open up the installer and the installer looks a little bit like this. You then press install at the bottom of the pop up. And then you wait for it to install. It'll go through the various processes to install it onto your PC and then it will initialize. It will then also send several pop ups asking you to authorize it to allow it to do certain things on your PC. Except for read you a bedtime story, believe it or not. You'll then get a little pop-up that tells you all about the G-Hub suite and all the things you can do. Close this window and then open up Logitech G-Hub. If you're running a Windows PC, you can also find the Logitech G-Hub software icon in the bottom right hand corner next to the time. Once you've opened up the G-Hub software, it may even ask you to update the firmware on your devices. So now we've opened up the Logitech G-Hub software. As you can see here, it's picked up both my Logitech devices, my Brio 4K stream camera and my Yeti X World of Warcraft edition. Like I said before, we're going to be using this device to go through the G-Hub suite. So the first thing you're going to need to do is click on the Yeti X WoW edition. If you don't have the WoW edition, it'll probably just say Yeti X. So click here and it'll take you into the suite. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what you can see here, starting from left to right. On the left hand side, you've got four tabs. So you've got the microphone tab, you've got the sampler tab, lighting tab, and 3.5 millimeter output tab. One feature I really do like about this software is the fact that if you change things on the microphone using the user interface knobs or the pattern selection button, it changes in real time on the app. Let me show you. I'm going to do something that I really don't recommend people do on stream or recording videos, but this is for the purpose of this video, is I'm going to pick the microphone up. So here is my Blue Yeti X World of Warcraft edition. As you can see here, it's got all the really nice World of Warcraft LED lighting on it, and it has the really nice grey and gold colouring. You can see more information about this microphone in a video I did previously, which I'll link you. Um, an example of how responsive this is, over here you have polar pattern at the moment it says cardioid you can select omni cardioid biodirectional or stereo and if I press this button on here you will see that it will change in the top as well so I'll press it once and it's gone to bi-directional so now I can speak out of the back of the microphone as well stereo and omni I'm gonna now turn the microphone round, so I'm going to set it to bi-directional so you can hear me talking through the back of the microphone while I adjust the gain. Okay, so the microphone is now facing you as if you were going to be adjusting the gain on the microphone. As you can see here, we have the LEDs going up and down that are monitoring my voice. To adjust the gain, all you have to do is turn the user interface knob. And as you'll be able to see, the input game on the application will also adjust accordingly. So here we go, I'm gonna now turn it up. And as you can see there, I'm probably gonna get a lot louder. So I'm going to turn this down quite quickly. So I'm gonna now turn it down to 21 again. And there we have it. As you can see, real time response to what is happening out in the field, which I really like. 
I'm just going to put the microphone back down and get ready to carry on with the rest of this video. Okay, so now I'm back in the cardioid pickup pattern where I just need to talk directly into the front of the microphone. So let's start with microphone. As you can see here, you have all the different elements of your microphone you can select, including enable blue voice, which we'll get onto in just a minute. What you can hear right now is my voice coming into the microphone as raw as it gets. Here you have the input gain. Now remember guys, gain is not volume. It is how much sound the microphone is looking to pick up. Then you also have the master output level, which is essentially how much output you then have going into your streaming software or your PC or whatever you're using this microphone for. Now to be able to test the microphone and make sure you're happy with what you can hear, you have a mic test function where you can record a small snippet of some vocals or some sound. It does recommend that you record for at least a minimum of five seconds. And here's an example. So if you press play now, you should be able to hear me. Hello, I'm Lamer Gamer, and I'm recording this as a five second sample of what I sound like. And that's how you get to record and test the sound of the microphone. So we've got a blue microphone that we're running in the Logitech G Hub software, which means that we have this blue voice. Now this is a really strong tool for processing sound. Now at the moment you can hear me talking as if I plugged the microphone in and we are coming in raw. If I then click the enable button, my voice will change to hopefully what it sounded like at the start of the video. So here we go. And straight away, you can see that a lot more functions have appeared on the screen as well. You can monitor the gain on the input side. You can also monitor the master output level as well. Whereas before, these were just sliders that you could play around with. As well as this, you've got equalizer functions. You can do signal cleanup where you can set up things like noise reduction and the compressor and the gate. If you don't know what these terms are, there are little question marks next to them that will help you figure that all out. So it's a really helpful tool for new streamers as well as experienced ones. And over here to the right hand side, we have the EQ where we can change the low, mid and high frequencies of the sound that is being picked up by the microphone. In this case, my voice. If we continue back to the side where we've just enabled the blue voice, we can see that it already comes with blue voice presets. And to give you a feel of what these all sound like, I'm going to record a phrase and then slowly work my way through each of these. If you're not interested about what they sound like, then skip forward to the next section. We're going to start at the top and work our way to the bottom. Here we go. This is what it sounds like currently with my current voice setup. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And there we go. We have now tested through all the blue voice presets that come with this microphone. Now you can create your own. As you can see down here, I have the LG default and it's quite easy to create your own. For instance, if I wanted to record something in AM. So if I wanted to record this, but maybe add some more low frequencies in, I turn this right up. You can see instantly underneath custom presets, AM copy has appeared. You can change the name so it can be easily recognized. So if you click the little pencil here and call it AM test and you press edit, it will have saved it now as AM test. This is what this sound effect sounds like. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Cool, that's disgusting. <laughs> but I'm gonna record the rest of this video in the LG default sound. As well as the voice presets and creating your own, there are also effects, which you can find right next to where it says blue voice at the top here. If you click effects, you'll be given a humongous palette of effects to try out. Once again, you can modify and create your own sound effects as well. As you can see here, you can adjust the pitch and the ambience. And if you don't know what all of these terms mean, once again, there are little question marks here. 
on the end of each one to give you a bit more of a description about what they are. Now, because I have the World of Warcraft edition, this microphone comes with a few more voice effects. What I'm going to do now is record a new voice clip and add these effects to it so you can see what they sound like. If you don't want to hear all the different sound effects, please skip forward to the next section. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. I'm now testing the World of Warcraft voice effects. So in addition to the World of Warcraft sound effects and being able to make your own, there are some pre-built voice effects as well, which we'll go through now. If you don't want to hear all the different sound effects, please skip forward to the next section. And now we're going to start here with Robot and work our way down to Gender Shift Male. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. I'm now testing some of the pre-built blue voice effects. And there you have it. We have now tested all of the pre-built voice effects that come with the World of Warcraft edition Blue Yeti X. Now we're going to move on to the next tab, which is Sampler. Now here is a list of World of Warcraft sound effects samples. As it says here, playback iconic HD samples from the World of Warcraft universe. You can also record or import your own samples. So we're just going to have a look at a couple of these. We're going to start with this, Banshee Shattered the Helm. When the Banshee shattered the helm, it tore a gaping wound through the veil between our world and the Shadowlands. Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty epic. Let's try Jaina. We'll try this one, Life as a Sheep. Would you prefer Life as a Sheep? Let's try Sylvanus. Apologies if I'm ruining all these names. No doubt I am your favorite Windrunner sister, right? Right. Yes, yes, you are my favourite Windrunner sister. I don't know what that means. In addition to these character sound effects as well, there are also ambience and environmental ones as well. So for instance, if you open this, you can get some beach sound effects. So let's take a trip to the beach. To be fair, that's making me really need to go to the loo. So we're going to stop that right now. Another one would be Naz Jatar. Okay. <laughs> so you get the idea. Lots of sound effect samples here. You can also create your own here in the software or you can import some sound effects that you've already made. The 3.5mm output tab is all about the sound you hear through the microphone's inbuilt 3.5mm output jack. I've plugged my HyperX Cloud earbud headphones into the bottom of the Yeti microphone and I can already hear myself being monitored through it, which is great. What you can do here you can decide how loud the volume is that comes out to the headphones. For instance, if I turn this all the way up, the output from my microphone is a lot louder. However, the default is sat around about 50%. The direct monitoring function allows you to decide how much microphone or PC sound you hear through the 3.5 millimeter output. You can also enable advanced EQing, whereas instead of just bass and treble, you can actually get the full audio spectrum here. And you also have various different presets you can use as well. 
you can also build your own custom presets. Now there's also the lighting tab, which we can go through in another video, as this video is all about setting up your microphone to give you the right sound for your voice. If you want to see that video, then there'll be a link in the description, and I'll also post a link to it up in the corner here. And there you have it guys, we have now just gone through the full audio functionality of the Logitech G Hub software for the World of Warcraft version of the Blue Yeti X. With the normal Blue Yeti, I believe it's the same sort of principle, however you won't have those specialist World of Warcraft sound effects. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about customizing the lighting on the Blue Yeti X World of Warcraft edition so that your microphone looks exactly how you want it to perform and look when you're either live or recording. If you did find this video useful, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you know every time I post a new video. Also, I stream regularly on Twitch, so please drop into chat, ask me some questions about the products. If you've got something you would like me to talk about in my next YouTube video, drop it there or post it in the comments if you have any questions. You can also find me on all the other relevant social media sites. In the meantime, you take care and I'll see you online. Cheers.